Some applications require manipulating numbers at the bit level. For example, you might want to isolate or mask off certain bits. You might want to set certain bits to 1 or clear some bits to 0. These are done using the bitwise operators in Java. Other programming languages like C, C++, Python, uh, Perl, they've got some very similar operators, if not identical ones. There are five that I want you to know about. There's a couple more than that, really, in the language, but these are the five that I think are the most important for our purposes. The first three of them you'll recognize as AND, OR, and possibly uh, you'll recognize exclusive OR. The bitwise AND operator is just a single ampersand sign. The bitwise OR operator is a single vertical bar, and exclusive OR is represented using a caret. Now, you may be thinking that these look awfully similar to the Boolean operators, and you'd be right about that. In particular, the AND and OR truth tables for Boolean looks very similar to the ones for the bitwise operators, except that bitwise operators work on bits, zeros and ones. The Boolean operators, the AND and OR that you're used to seeing, work on true and false values. So they're similar, but a little bit different. Um, these tables here, uh, shown on the screen, are showing you the results of operating on various bit combinations. So for AND, if you uh, AND a 0 and a 0 together, you get 0. 0 and 1 is also 0. 1 and 0 is 0. And 1 and 1 is 1. So the only time you get a 1 is if both of the numbers that you're ANDing together are also 1. For OR, it's kind of the opposite. The only time you get a 0 is if both of them, uh, both of the input numbers are 0. Otherwise, you get a 1. For exclusive OR, you can think about that as meaning one or the other, but not both. Then the, the result of exclusive oring two numbers is a one, only if one of the numbers is a one. So if exactly one of them is a one, you get a one, otherwise you get a zero. Now, so, so those are kind of like the mathematical descriptions of those operators, but I want you to think about them in these alternative ways. So let's take a look at AND here. Um, I'm going to highlight two of the rows. I'm going to highlight the first one and the third one. And the thing I want you to note there is that if you are anding a number, either 0 or 1, shown here on the left, with a 0, which is what the first and third row represents. So, if you're, so no matter what number you're anding with 0, the output is always a 0. So if you and a 0 with 0, you get 0. If you and a 1 with 0, you get 0. Now for the second and fourth rows, if you AND a number with 1, you just get back the number you started with. So if you start with a 0, AND it with a 1, you get a 0. And if you start with a 1, and you AND it with a 1, you get a 1. So you can kind of think of AND as meaning clearing to 0 or keeping something the same. If you AND something with 0, it sets that bit to 0. Actually, it's called clearing the bit. And if you AND something with 1, it just keeps it the same. Now for OR, again, we've kind of got a similar situation. If you OR something with 0, you keep it the same. So that's the first row here and the third row. So if we're ORing it with 0, it just stays the same. And we're, if we OR something with 1, if we OR a bit with 1, we always get a 1. So think of OR as being an operator used to set a bit. If you OR something with 1, it sets it to 1. If you OR it with 0, it just keeps it the same. Exclusive OR has its own use. If you exclusive OR a bit with 1, which is the um, second and fourth row here, if you exclusive OR a bit with 1, you get the opposite of what the first one was. So you exclusive OR 0 and 1 together, you get 1. If you do 1 and 1 together, you get 0. So it flips it. And then if you exclusive OR something with 0, it just stays the same. So I've shown that to you here. Exclusive OR with 0 keeps it the same. Exclusive OR with 1 flips it to the opposite. Now, the, the two remaining operators are the shift operators. These are used to take a number and shift it one way or the other, either left or to the right, by a certain number of bits. Uh, here we start with an example, like if we start with 1101 and then shift it to the left by two bits, it adds two zeros on to the right-hand side, um, and you end up with 110100. Zero, zero. Shifting to the right by two bits does the opposite. It takes the bits that are on the right-hand side. Those fall off the end, 
and we end up with just 1, 1 as the result. So 1, 1, 0, 1 was 13, that's 13 in decimal. When you shift it two bits to the left, you're effectively multiplying it by 4. And when you shift it two bits to the right, you're effectively dividing it by 4. 13 divided by 4 is 3, 13 times 4 is 52. So actually when you shift a, a number by n bits, you are, uh, if you shift it to the left by n bits, you are effectively multiplying it by 2 to the nth. And when you shift it to the right by n bits, you're effectively dividing it by 2 to the nth. You might find that particular nugget of information useful in your projects. So let's do some examples. Uh, let's say I've got a number m that is represented by this 8-bit uh, number, 11011001. That happens to be 217 in decimal. And then j is this 24-bit number. I've represented it here in hexadecimal as 4ba109. So the first example is I want to isolate or mask off the lowest four bits of m, which is that 8-bit number. The way I'll do that is um, I'm going to use the AND operator, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set, or excuse me, not set, clear the bits that I don't want to zero, and I'm going to keep the same the bits that I do want by ending it with one. So the mask I'm going to use is four zeros and four ones, with the four ones in the lower position, because those are the ones that I want to keep. When I and it with M, what I get back is the high four bits have been all cleared to zero and the low four bits have been kept the same. So that's now isolated the bits that I'm interested in. Another way that I could do that is to use hexadecimal instead of binary. Remember that one hexadecimal digit is the same as four binary bits. So 0F is the same as 00001111. This is just an alternative way to do exactly the same operation. The next example is I want to isolate the high four bits of M, not the low four bits, the high four bits. So it's kind of the same thing, I'll just use a different mask. This one, I use four ones and four zeros because I want to keep the high four bits and throw away or clear the low four bits. After I do that operation, it ends up keeping the high four bits and the low four bits have been all cleared to zeros. If I want to extract the high four bits, so it's, this is not quite the same as isolating. Uh, extract means I want to not only isolate those four bits, but also find out what their value is. I do that by first isolating them using a mask, 111000, and then the result of that, which you know is going to be this number here, the result of that, I'm now going to shift it to the right by four bits in order to bring it down into the range that I am interested in. So when I started with this value of m, which is 217, I isolate the, four, the high four bits and then shift it to the right by four, I end up with 1101, which I believe is 13, uh, which is the value of the high four bits out of that number. So you'll see this 1101 is the high four bits from that number. So I can use this technique here to, to basically pull out a piece of a number and then shift it around to a range, uh, to, a, to an area, to me, not an area, to a value that I'm looking for. Uh, here's a similar example. I want to now extract the middle bits of a much larger number. So remember that J is this 24-bit number. I want the middle bits, which, you know, I can't quite see them here, but I think they're somewhere right in the middle there. I'll do that by masking off the middle bits using eight ones in the middle. Actually, I, since I don't want to type all 24 bits, I did it with uh, hexadecimal. So 00FF00, that's uh, four zeros, four zeros, four ones, four ones, four zeros, four zeros. So that masks off the middle eight bits, and then I shift it to the right by eight, and it brings that A1, which was in the middle of the hexadecimal number, I've highlighted it here, it brings that down into uh, just a single eight bit number. Uh, a similar example is I want to extract the high 8 bits of J. So it's a 24-bit number. I just want the 8 bits that are all the way on the left-hand side. I'll use a mask, FF0000. That's going to basically, uh, I think, mask off those 8 bits there. And then I shift them by 16 to bring them all the way down to the low bits. And that has the result of isolating 
and extracting out the 4B that's all the way in the most significant bit positions. Um, the last uh, couple of examples here is I want to set bit number 2 of M to 1. I'm counting bits uh, from 0, so the right, the, the most, excuse me, the least significant bit would be bit number 0. The next one after that is bit number 1. This one in here is bit number 2. So I want to set that one to be a 1. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use OR. Remember, OR is used to set bits. I uh, have all zeros, which means I want to keep those the same. I want to force this one to be a 1 and then keep those the same. So after doing that operation, I end up with the original number, except that bit number 2 has been now set to a 1. Clearing a bit is used with AND. Uh, since I want to force bit number 3 to be a 0, I'll use a mask in which all the bits are 1, because I want to keep those the same except for that bit number 3. I'll, set that, I'll uh, put that in as a 0, and that'll force that bit to be a 0. And then the final example is I want to set bit number i, where i could be any number from one to, uh, 0 to 31, basically. Uh, I want to set that particular bit to a 1. So the way I do that is I make a mask by starting with just a single one, sliding it to the left by i bits, and then using OR to, um, to set that bit. So basically, if i has the value of 2, I am going to slide this one over by 2 bits. That will result in a mask that looks just like the one I've highlighted here, and then uh, it's going to set that particular bit to 1. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of examples of using the bitwise operators, the AND, and the OR, and the SHIFT operator in order to isolate bits, in order to set them to 1, or clear them to 0.